Auntie. Hey, Thomas! Hey, how are you doing, Samantha? Good, how are the jungles of truth? Amazing, Samantha. Just today, I've eaten five kinds of tacos, explored the ruins, pet a dinosaur, visited Toshi Station, played Quidditch, and played Macker's Wheel. Wow, that is amazing. What have you been doing? Not much. Pretty much just the normal stuff. Bit boring, actually. Well, I'm going to dinner with Jonathan and Sal later, so I'll probably take a walk and then make pie for that. Nice. It's been ages since I went on a vacation. You couldn't leave the neighborhood for one day, Samantha. None of us would know what to do. True. I would be worried if I left you and Sal alone. You should still try to take an adventure sometime. We'll find out how to make do. I'll try. Good. I've got to take a boat to the Shire now. See you soon. Bye. All right. See ya. So I was like, that's not your taco, that's my taco. Well, that's what anyone would think. Exactly. So, I was talking to Thomas on the phone earlier. He sounded so smart, enlightened. He does seem like he's having a good time. Yeah, I feel like my life hasn't changed in forever. I don't think things need to change. Wouldn't you like to just settle down eventually? I guess I am pretty settled. It was just a thought. Good afternoon, Miss Lillaby. My name is Dr. Arthur Crapon, and I have the idea that you need to see me. How did you get in here? The door was unlocked. Also, I only exist in your head. Why have you come? Who are you? I am the part of you that you hide in the shadows, and you need me. I don't know what you're selling, but I don't need you or it. We'll see about that. And then he just disappeared! Gone! Poof! Poof. So he's part of you inside your head? Yeah, that's what he said. What are you going to do? I don't know. I feel like I'm seeing him everywhere. Around corners, in cars, across the street, even in mirrors. This started today? This is the first time I've truly seen him, yeah, but even before now I'd feel like someone was watching, even when there was no one there. My brother might know something about it. He's into that sort of thing, the supernatural, the odd, the mysterious. Do you think you can help? Well, I don't know, but it's at least worth trying. I'll tell him to come by your house later, tomorrow. Thank you, it means a lot. More turkey, anyone? It's open! Here's the bystander, sit down, sit down. Take. No thanks, Jonathan told me about your problem. I think I can help. Three of Cups, Four of Cups, Ace of Cups. The suit of cups obviously takes precedence here. That's a lot of cups. Are you sure you don't want a drink? I'm sure. Just drank a bubble tea. Cups represent emotion and enjoyment, which apparently take place in the forefront of your life. You're pretty dependent on fun and emotion to make your choices. Now, as for the individual pieces, your past, full of joy, laughter, friends, laid back life, perfect in a calm sort of way. Your present, and an innate boredom, the same thing over and over, stuck in a loop, never satisfied. Your future, fulfillment, a new day, a new start, satisfaction. This could mean many things. A card for clarification. Once again, an ace. Interesting. You have possibilities, many paths you can take. Clarity and new opportunities are available if you work for them. That is your situation in life, the context for your current problem. Now, as for your problem itself, Eight of Swords. You're in a state of powerlessness. This part of your brain, manifested in Dr. K. Paul, wants to take over. What can you do to stop it? 
Pure love and passion will bring an answer to your problem. How do I start on that path? I might know a guy. Hello? 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 Hello, Samantha. I've been wondering when you would get here. Are you innocent bystander's friend? Acquaintance. You can call me the director. Do sit down. I'm going to have to ask to talk to him, if you will, translate for me. Summon Dr. Crayfall. I don't really summon him, he just sort of comes. This should do the trick. Good afternoon, Mr. Moby. He's here. Good. Why have you come, Dr. Crayfall? Samantha needs me. I can help her with her problem. He says that I need him, that he can help me with my problem. Do you know what problem he's talking about? Her emotional problem. My emotional problem? That would make sense. When you first started seeing him, really seeing him, what were you thinking? What were you feeling? Oh, sad. Dissatisfied with the same old thing. Well, he solved that problem, hasn't he? So why doesn't he go? I can make every day of hers interesting. She just needs to embrace me. Embrace the dark side of her. He says I need to embrace it. Then I'll go. Then he says he'll go. And I'm afraid I can't do anything for you, Samantha. You're just going to have to trust yourself and do it on your own. Well, thanks. I'll, I'll try. Good. I've been directing in this way for a while. I'm sorry I couldn't do more. It's fine. Bye. Bye. No!